Hi everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part 27 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Olivia's here all by herself in the house on Monday morning working on her book Chronicles of Bridgeport because Kai's off to school and Bobby's off to work already, so she's just doing this for the couple hours she has until she goes off to work. So in this part, I wanted Olivia and Bobby to go on a date since they haven't gone on one since Kai was born, and I also wanted Olivia to become pregnant with her second child since due to due to Bobby's lifetime aspiration, they're going to want to have a lot of kids. So we de definitely should have her have another child while we're with these guys because I'm thinking I think I'm going to have them have three biological children and then adopt a fourth child since unless they changed it for Bobby's aspiration, he's going to need to adopt. So we're definitely going to have these guys adopt a kid eventually, but for this time that we're with them, we're going to have them just have another, you know, have another kid, have her get pregnant again. And I can't exactly remember what she had for her aspiration before, but it might have been changed some, because all she has left, left to do is write five good books, <laughs> and she's only completed one out of four of the milestones. And then as for Bobby, he, I think this was three hours before, so he now just has to read to a child for two hours total, so we can easily do that, so... I think today I'm going to focus more on these guys, and then the next day I'm going to focus more on Kai and having both Olivia and Bobby bond with him. Um, especially Olivia, because, you know, he, Bobby had that whole day alone with him that Olivia didn't get because she had to work. So I think I'm going to have Bobby read to him and then, you know, have her spend some alone time with Kai. And then they did make school the school requirements a lot easier, so he just has to get one skill to level two. Before it was like, go to school energized or something like that. So this is a lot easier, and he's already got what he needs, so it'll definitely be pretty easy for him to get up to a B level. And then I do need to get him an activity table and have him draw some. There's not exactly enough room in here, but he doesn't really need a dresser, so we can just get rid of the dresser and give him an activity table instead, since, you know, if he really needs to change his out clothes or plan his outfit, we can just have him use this one. So it's definitely more important for him to have a drawing table. So let's see, I think that's in here. Yes, here it is. All right, so we'll get him one of these and just stick it right here. So as far as space goes with them having another kid, why can't I place you close to the wall? I guess it's because of those. Um, but anyway, as far as space goes with them having another kid, what I was thinking was that they don't, I did want to add a second floor onto this house, but they just don't have, they're not going to have enough money to do that. So I was thinking I could just drag this whole area out another tile and then that that would give an extra space for another crib and then a bed once the child grows up and then hopefully the next time whether with these guys or at least this time they'll save up enough money so that next time we can add on a second floor so that's what i'm i'm thinking as far as space because they just really can't afford to add on a second floor and then i don't really want to add on something out over here because that just might look strange so we'll have the kids share a room until they get a little bit more money but anyway let's get back to live mode and she should, uh, she is gonna be, okay, cool, so he got that taken care of because he got the activity table, so now he just has to draw two pictures, so that's definitely easier than it was before the patch. And then she does go off to work shortly, but she's making, let's see, she's made a good bit of progress on her book. It looks like she still has more than halfway to go, though, but she does have to go off to work now, so I'll be back when Kai or Bobby are home. Kai is back home, so let's have him work on drawing some pictures since he's currently the only one home, so we'll just focus on him for a bit and have him draw pictures picture of some shapes. So this is just still saying that he has a C, but let's see how his performance is. So that went up a little bit, so hopefully we can get that up enough. Maybe have him get focused for school so he can actually go up, because I would really like him to get an A before he ages up. And speaking of that... He does have 30 days until he ages up, so we've got plenty of time with him. Like, we'll have this time that we're with these guys and the next time to play with him as a child, so... Yeah, thanks to the long lifespan, we've got a lot of time. So right now he's just going crazy on the little drawing there with glitter and markers and glue. <laughs> so he's just having a lot of fun with that. That reminds me of when I was younger, I used to go crazy with glue on everything. Like, I just used to overdo glue. I remember when I was in, I was in Girl Scouts, and my nickname, like, they did this thing where I had to come up with nicknames for everyone, and mine was Glue Girl, just because I overdid glue so much. I would, like, get it all over my hands and myself. But him, like, spraying the glue just reminded me of that from when I was younger. Um, but hopefully he finishes this up soon so we can have him get on another one since, let's see, he just needs to 
two pictures while inspired, so he's currently inspired, so hopefully this counts as one when he's done with it. And then, is there some kind of interaction where we can have him... You know, we can just have... Why would you scold him? <laughs> we can have Bobby come over here and encourage him. And then, you know what, we'll have... We'll actually have him sleep so that he's not all pooped when Olivia gets home, since I do want to have him go out. But he finished that drawing, so that's one of two inspired. So let's have him get on drawing another shape drawing. We just have this next one up here on the wall. And I don't know why he's getting up and sitting back down. I kind of wish, like, I wonder if we can move, use the move objects cheat and get this on the fridge, like make it look like it's on the fridge. But then again, that would be cool, but I'm worried that if I do that, it would make it so they couldn't use a fridge. So maybe I shouldn't do that, but that would just be kind of cool to make it look like it was hanging on the fridge. And let's see how Bobby's energy is doing. So he's still pretty pooped, but we've got a couple hours till Olivia gets home, and then I don't know, she might need a nap once she gets home, because, oh, yeah, she's tired too. I guess they didn't really get, like, get a lot of sleep for being out late for the wedding, and... Alright, cool, so he completed that milestone, so he has to achieve level 5 of the creativity skill and play with three toys. Alright, that's pretty cool. So do we have... Okay, you know what, let's get him some more toys, because I did accidentally delete, I did delete the toys when... I put in the activity table, so we'll just get him three different toys. So we'll get him this guy, and... Ooh, let's get him some clay, but then I'm gonna get him two more toys than that. So we'll get him this, and... A little helicopter, and then this little guy. And, uh, go place... there you go. Alright, so how tired is he? Alright, well, he's not that bad. We'll just have him play with this, and play with this, and play with this. And then after that, I'm going to have him work on his homework a little bit before he comes becomes too tired and needs to go to bed. <laughs> Did you just hit himself with the head with the toy? Alright, so we'll have you stop playing with that one and then move on to the next toy. So, oh, that does not... does that not count? Hmm, I guess maybe these toys don't count, but oh well. Alright, cool. So Olivia just got home. She's really tired, so I'm gonna see if I can have her- I'm gonna have her nap for a little bit, so these guys might end up going on kind of a late date, but I still want them to go on something. You know, get out of the house, get a break from Kai, even though they love him. <laughs> Looks like he just hit himself on the head with the toy again. Okay, so now it's counting. I guess you just have to let him finish playing with them. So, oh, that's cool. He's putting them up on the bookshelf. So now he's moving on to the next toy, and let's see how Bobby's- Alright, so his energy is pretty good, so we'll have him get up. And then Olivia needs to nap a little bit more. She's still pretty tired. But I'll have him get, I'll have Bobby get a quick meal since he's pretty hungry. We don't want him to be super hungry when they go out. Um, since they're probably not going to go on a very long date, uh, let's have him make a microwave dinner. And then, what are you doing? You're still playing, aren't you? Or no, no, don't leave that there. Don't leave that in the kitchen. Alright, so I think that now counts as two out of three toys, so maybe we can just have him give this toy another go. <laughs> so it looks like he's just gonna talk to his dad while his dad makes his meal. Well, that's fine. Alright, well, we'll let him go to bed then, because he is pretty tired. And then let's see how Olivia's doing as far as her energy goes. Oh, she's still very tired. And we should probably clean this up. <laughs> it's still left from it's still left from CJ. All right, can we? What? We can't clean that up. Looks like Olivia's up now and energized though, so I think I'm gonna have these two go on their date, just a quick little date now. So let's have her recite some love poetry to him. And then I think I'm just gonna have him go to the park really quick. And then after that, let's just have her get on scheduling the date. These two arrived at the park, so I'll just make this really quick since they're both getting rather tired. Just probably do whatever it takes to get them to a gold medal date, or maybe just silver, but it looks like... Th I just um had them become best friends because they weren't already, although I think... Oh, I had her as best friends with Taz before. Oh shoot, oops. Uh, I forgot about that. Um, oh well, we'll have her hip bump him since she wants to do that. And then... Let's have her... Let's have her just kill. Well, let's have her flirt. 
And then we'll have her kiss him. All right. And then let's have him. Let's find a bench and have him just sit. We'll have him sit here. That's a nice spot. So we'll just have him sit here together. And then talk for a little bit. So it should be pretty easy to get this to gold medal. Alright, so let's just talk a little bit more. Let's tickle mercilessly and whisper sweet nothings. And then, oh, let's have him make out. <laughs> and then, make a move. There we go. We'll have her do that. And compliment his appearance. And then, let, you know, let's, uh, let's have him do some things since we've just been controlling her this whole time. So we'll have we'll have him tell her that she looks nice, and then all right, cool. So it looks like got the main goal accomplished, <laughs> and they're still gonna be doing that for a while. All right, why can't I click on her? Oh, there we go. Okay then. All right, so we'll have her. We'll have him have some deep conversations. All right, there we go. So we'll just have them do that a couple times, and then. Have a passionate kiss, and after that will probably be a gold medal date, so we'll just have them go home, but at least they got to get out of the house for a little bit, get a break from their kid, because, you know, sometimes, sometimes they just need a little bit of alone time. And then after that we'll just see if we can go for the passionate kiss. We might not be able to. Um, but let's see. I think they have to be in the flirty mood to be able to get that. <laughs> But we'll see if we can get them to get them to that. Give a vigorous massage. Um, okay, let's try that. It's probably just the same interaction as a regular one, though. Hmm. All right. You know what? I'm just gonna end this now since it's at a gold medal, and they're both very tired. So you know, it's a nice little date. A nice, nice to get a little out of the house for a little bit. And then now I'm gonna have them head home, and then they can try for a baby again. These two are home now, and we're just gonna get right to it and have them try for baby since they're very, very tired. And you are wanna get out. You are gonna wanna get out of here. You're gonna be scarred for life if you see what's about to go down. So we'll have them go in here and play with the toy. Get out, get out, get out. There we go. Yeah, yeah, just just get away from there. And did he play with Um, I guess maybe this, you know, let's have him. Let's have him play with this one instead, just to just to be safe. And what are you gonna do with that? Okay, good. I was worried he was gonna go in there and try putting it in their room, like on the dresser. That would have been awful. Um, we're gonna stick this back in your room. But okay, so he'll go play with that toy while they're doing their business over here. And hopefully this will count as the third toy. But when they're done with this, we'll see if she happens to be pregnant. So let's get her up and. Have her take a pregnancy test and see if she's pregnant. Hopefully she is. And hopefully this time it's a girl. Uh-huh. Right. Alright, come on, be pregnant, come on. Yes! Alright. So she is pregnant again, so be sure to suggest any baby names if you have them. But these guys are gonna be sleeping now, so I'll be back the next day. Well, it's the following day, and Olivia's just getting ready. She got up not that long ago, she did sleep in a little bit. So I'm going to have her, once she's done with the shower, I'm going to have her work on her writing a little bit until Kai gets home. And once Kai gets home, I'm probably going to have him continue working on this for a little bit. Then as soon as Bobby gets home, I'll have him read to him some. But I do want Olivia to get some writing in since she's been rather slow about finishing her book. So hopefully she can actually finish it. I had her take a thoughtful shower so that she'd be in have an inspired mood, which would hopefully help her to write it a little bit quicker. And she did just reach level, level 6 of writing. <laughs> and Kai just got home, so he's gonna need to take a shower, and then after that he's gonna need some food, so... We'll have him just have him microwave dinner since these guys haven't really cooked in a while, and then Bobby also just got home. So let's see, alright, so he does need to get to level 2 of the logic skill, and oh, it looks like Meredith is over. So we'll invite her in and talk to her for a little bit. Uh, let's have him hip on her, <laughs> since he's feeling pretty energized. And then after that we can have him talk to Bobby, or talk to Kai while he eats. So we'll have him teach him a valuable, valuable lesson and enthuse about interest and... Brain day. There we go. We'll have her do that, and let's see how Olivia's book's coming along. So she's still got a good bit more progress on it. It just seems like it seems like writing books takes forever. Like she's been working on that book for a really long time, but 
I'm gonna have her work on it for a little bit longer while Bobby tends to Kai, because I do want him to read to him for two hours so we can get this taken care of, so we'll have him stop talking to Meredith so he can pay attention to his son. Because his son... Well, I guess his social is a little bit low early, but I'm good. glad to see it's better now, but... I do want to talk to him for a little bit. So let's enthuse about interests, and... And then we could pick out a kid's book for him to read, so let's see what's in here. So we have... what kid's books do we have? First unicorn... let's... let's get the first unicorn. So we'll have him read that to Kai. And we can just have him do that a couple times to get that taken care of, so... We'll have you... or we can let him... okay, we'll let him eat first then, but... After he eats, we'll have him read to Kai, and alright, so she just finally finished her book. After what seems like forever, so she finally finished Chronicles of Bridgeport. So we'll have her go out here and sell to the publisher. Which should get her a little bit... I think... Selling to the publisher gets them a little bit more money than self-publish. I don't remember. Alright, I think I think selling to the publisher earned them more money, but... We'll have him eat, her eat some of whatever Bobby made, so he made some grilled cheese. Hopefully it's a serving of it, and not just a one-person thing. Oh shoot, he only made a single serving. Alright, well then, it looks like... <laughs> it looks like he gets a microwave dinner then. Oops. But while she eats, we can have her work on bonding with Kai some, since she's not nearly as close to him as Bobby is, so we'll have her ask him about school, and... Ooh, share big news! We'll have her tell him about that he's got a new sibling on the way! Aw, he seems excited! Except he still might get sad once a kid's born, because sometimes that happens, but he seems pretty excited about it right now, so we'll have her boast about family, and tell a knock-knock joke, and then she can express admiration. And all looks like they're all gonna have a nice family dinner together with Meredith. <laughs> And, ooh, let's have her let's have her express love. Although she can't do that until she's done eating, so we'll just have her we'll have her teach him a valuable lesson and then I think I saw a joke about boogers. Yeah, we'll have her joke about boogers. So that is getting her relationship up a bit, but I want these guys to be good friends. So let's brighten his day. Oh cool, they just became good friends. Awesome. Alright, so He's almost done done eating, so I do want him to read to Kai really quick before he gets too tired. Once he's done eating, but for the time being, we can have him talk to him for a little bit. We'll have him tell him a dramatic story. So they're all just having a really nice family dinner with Meredith over here. And what are you doing? Oh, going to the bathroom. Okay, yeah, you do that. And then we're gonna have him read to Kai. So yeah, we'll have him read the first unicorn to Kai. So I think he is pretty much done eating, so we'll just have him stop doing that and then read a book. Alright, it looks like Meredith is going to be heading out soon. So hopefully before Moo gets too bad he can read to him some. I mean, he'll probably have to stop to take a potty break, but... At least he can, he can get an hour in or so of reading. I really wanted him to get that milestone accomplished, like, this day in this part. So it looks like he just reached the one hour mark, so he just needs another hour of reading to him, since he did read to him a little bit the last part we were with these guys. And we can see if we can have her talk to him. Lecture about when did he misbehave? Aw, well we can have her do an impression. Maybe she can do that while he's learning to read, or while he's being read to. Should be almost there now. And what are you... how's your mood? Alright, oh cool, looks like that book was a good book, so she just has to do that four more times. Alright, so he needs to use the restroom, and then I'll see if after that we can have him read again for a little bit to get that to two hours. Because, I mean, he's a little bit tired, but it really won't take him that long to get to two hours. So we'll read the Lord of the Sw uh, Lord of the Swings to him. Yes, so we'll have him read that to Kai just really quick, however long it takes to get to two hours. Alright, there we go, let's try this again. And then we can hopefully get that milestone accomplished. Alright, are you gonna... there we go, there he is. And let's see, yeah, he's a, he's a little bit tired than that, but other than that, he's good. Kai's kind of tired too, but... Alright, well now he's pretty bad, but he's gonna be going to bed right after this, so... And she's actually in a really good mood. Let's see, did you get to two hours? 
Yes, all right. So it looks like you did read him for two hours, so let's see. Be parent to a child with three friends. Be friends with three of your children and have a child get married. Okay, so... I kind of like the adoption one more because that's going to take a while. Before it was like getting a adopt, adopt child here. Oh, that just makes it a lot harder. <laughs> it's going to be a while before his kid gets married. But yeah, it looks like he's just going to go to bed. Olivia's probably going to go to bed soon and... So is Kai, most likely. Yeah, he's headed off to bed now. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you all enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. And also be sure to suggest baby names for their next child. But anyway, thanks for watching and bye.